Hi, Marcel, the wood butcher, once again. Today's subject is how to obtain free wood and the sources that you can get for free wood. And I'm talking anywhere from pallets to actually some really good stuff for free. Okay. Uh, well, you guys know by now I use a lot of pallet wood. And I have some connections where I get pallets that are completely free. For some people, they're not. For others, they are. The way to get your pallets for free. First of all, don't be ashamed or embarrassed. You see a little strip mall or a store or a motorcycle shop or something like that that has a lot of pallets out back that look really good. Ask them. Don't be afraid. Go in. Ask the first person you see. What do they do with those pallets back there? Can I have them? And they'll say, well, you'll have to talk to my manager if you weren't lucky enough to meet the manager in the first place. And I will guarantee you and guarantee told you 90% of the time they will tell you, oh, please, you can have them. How often can you come by? And I tell them, I said, well, I'm not going to take them all. I said, I'm going to pick through them. And I'll probably take, uh, judging by what you have out there, probably about 50, 60 percent of them and, and the rest, uh, you know, I just can't use. And the reason I tell them that, because it doesn't make you automatically uh, under his understanding that you're going to take all of the pallets away. Because let me tell you something. A lot of pallets are good. Some pallets are crap, right? What you want to look for with pallets? Two things, a couple of things you want to look for. I'm going to give you the number one clue of a good pallet versus a bad pallet to reuse for woodworking. There's something called plugs that they put in pallets. And that is where the outside rungs, you know, you know, you have the one rung here, the other rung. Uh, it's a new camera. I'm reversed looking at myself on the screen. I'm getting all discombobulated here. Anyway, there's a left and a right rung. There we go. I got it. Okay. If there's along the original rail of the pallet, if there's another two by four married to it you don't want it you don't want it throw it away pass it by it's less lumber you can use that's called a plug in the pallets in the pallet industry that's called a plug right pallets come in various sizes the Standard size you're going to get is what's called a grocery pallet. Grocery pallets are 48 or 48 inches high or deep by 40 inches wide. They have three slats and two forklift holes on each side of the rails. So you're going to get 48 inches of the rails that you could use. And since they're 40 inches wide and they're built with oak two by fours, you figure out how much wood you can take out of them. The only thing I will caution you on, if you're gonna be one of these aggressive people like I was at first and thought it was easy just to take a crowbar or a pry bar and all these special tools they sell called pallet buddies and stuff like that to take pallets apart. Let me tell you something. Taking pallets apart without splitting the wood that you want to use is a bitch. It's a bitch. Because what they do 
is they use spiral nails with adhesive on there. And they kind of just defy crowbars a lot of times. There's two ways around that that we'll cover a little bit later. Okay? The second size palette you're going to find of conventional palettes. Now, I'm talking standard palettes. Is 48 by 48 inches. Those are usually used for drums. And they usually come from warehouses that store drums on them. You know, 55-gallon drums. So they use a 48 by 48-inch palette. If you're going to choose 48 by 40-inch pallets from the back of a warehouse, uh, be cautious. Be cautious. Because they probably came from drums that had chemicals stored on them. And you don't know the history of them. The best are the grocery pallets. The 48 by 40 pallets. Specialty pallets that are bigger than that. Go to your local motorcycle shop. Your local, local HVAC retailer. Stuff like that. There you'll find pallets that are sometimes up to eight feet long, six feet long. You'll have to cut them before you bring them home. But the wood is great. And you have some really, really workable stock. Okay? So be careful with your pallets. I'll do another episode, particularly on... on uh, grocery pallets versus, you know, you know, and how you can get them for free. Okay, your second source of free wood. You see a construction site, and they're doing a demolition. Don't be embarrassed to go up to the general contractor's site supervisor or the superintendent and ask them, these pallets and scrap wood that are coming to this site, what, what do you guys do with them? And I'll guarantee told you, not guarantee you, guarantee told you. He said, well, we put them in the dumpster and haul them away. Well, that costs that construction site money. You can go up to them and say, well, before you put them in the dumpster and before they go in the dumpster, uh, how often should I come by to see what I can use? Or can you put them aside and I'll throw what I can't use in the dumpster myself? Let me tell you something. You're probably going to gain about $1,000 worth of free wood. And I'm talking oak, right, for free. Yeah, but pick through them. Be cautious about making the offer to throw them in the dumpster, though. That's a last resort. Just tell them, you know, put them aside here because, you know, your, you know, your job site people are going to, they get paid. The laborers get paid to throw them in the fucking, I mean, in the, in the friggin' dumpster in the first place. So ask them. And I guarantee told you, again, not guarantee you, guarantee told you, they will be more than happy to have you help them out. The only place you do not want to go to gain free pallets is a trucking company or a warehouse. Because they're going to reuse them <laughs> to make more money than we will ever make out of them. They only throw them out when they're completely dilapidated and, and stuff like that. What you also want to look for with pallets is you want to make sure that they're not painted. They're, uh, they can be dark colored, light colored, whatever, whatever. But they're not painted and they're not split to crap in the first place. Take a look at the pallet. How far apart are the slats? Can you get 18 inches out of a board on each side? 
each excuse me i'm getting orientated here to do this backwards this is like working in a friggin mirror sorry you know can you get 18 inches on each side or about about you know uh or are there a bunch of split boards how much of it can you really use if there's a split palleted and that split boarded too and hey, hey, take it as long as it looks clean take it hey that's why you build a fire pit in the backyard keep the family warm and cozy during the summer nights keep some mosquitoes away but smoke and let's and let's face it you're burning oak if it goes into your burn pile you're burning oak okay Third thing you want to, or fourth thing, the other thing, I don't know what number I was on, but the other thing you want to know about harvesting pallets is what was on them. Sometimes some clean pallets, like for instance, I wouldn't take a pallet. Well, I probably might, you know. But from the back of a pool cleaning company, because it probably had chlorine on it. But then chlorine, you know, whether it's HTH or PACE or whoever that makes the friggin' chlorine, you know, it's if it was delivered, it probably didn't leak or anything like that. But that's the kind of stuff. All right. I would think twice about taking because unless you run it through a kiln or unless you uh, do like I do, I mean, I, I rip the first sixteenth of an inch off of all the wood from pallets when I want to make it look like new wood. If somebody wants the rustic look, I don't run it through the router. All I do is lightly sand it and let the natural grain of the pallet show out. But, you know, you, you, all you have to do is use your noodle. Use your noodle. Think. Look. Choose. Select. Select are the ones that you throw in the back of your van, your pickup truck, your car, whatever. Take a look also how they're assembled, how they're put together. Notice if they use, I'm trying to do this, if they use staples to put them together or if they look like they're nails. If they're nails, 90% chance they're spiral nails with adhesive advice to, uh, you know, uh, applied to the nails. You can still get them apart. And if you do choose to take the longer pieces and don't want to cut them in 18-inch slots, here's my advice. So this side of the pallet, I, 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 I'm all frigged up here with right and left because I'm in a mirror here, right? This side of the pallet, that side of the pallet. You have your two slots going up and down. Take your jigsaw, your circular saw, Cut the friggin' wood right up, right along the outside rails. That will give you a better chance of using a crowbar on only the center rail to pull the wood off without splitting it. Try your best to do it. Make it slow. It's laborious. 